Here's how you can reconstruct Google Earth data for renderings in Blender, downloading 3D models uh, without having to do a GPU injection or you know, just all work straight from the browser. We're gonna use Google Earth Studio for this, basically to program a photogrammetry flight and then process that photogrammetry data. So we want as much information as we can get in our photos. We'll max out this resolution here for the Google Earth Engine at 4096 pixels square. I'll cap this at 250 frames for a reason that you'll see later. And then if I run this at 25 frames a second, we get 10 seconds for planning our mission. For demo purposes, we'll take a look at the Sydney Opera House, very interesting and uniquely shaped building. And I'll start by figuring out what angles I can uh, take a look at this, uh, this, this building from. Um, one thing I do wanna do is add a camera target and the camera target, basically, as it says here, keeps my camera locked onto a point uh, on the globe. So add camera target and advanced uh, attributes. And what we're gonna do is basically orbit the opera house from a few different angles, kind of a low oblique angle, and then a higher angle to capture as much of that geometry as, as possible. So from a nice low angle, I'll set my first keyframe. And let's say we'll use 100 frames total for the, uh, for, for the reconstruction, so I'll what I'm doing here is I'm using about 100 keyframes to make two orbits around the building from a high and a low angle. So we've got 113 frames, and if, if we run through all the frames, we can see here that we get basically all these views of the Opera House. We get a nice low angle orbit, capturing all the geometry, and then a nice high angle orbit as well. So I'll go to render. Uh, we want to render this Opera House as an image sequence. 113, as we can see here, is, is where the, you know, basically all the you know, data that we captured photo data. So let's we'll put 0 to 113, max dimensions. Attribution, we'll move this to the top. And as far as these attribution guidelines, Google requires that this attribution be included uh, in all of the imagery that's that's shown. And use of the Google data is at your own risk. So we'll go ahead and uh, start this render. Let that save the files. And this will run for a few minutes while it downloads high resolution images of the area we just captured. Okay, so we rendered our multi-view of the Sydney Opera House. Those files uh, come as a, just a folder of, of images here you can see, and we've got them nice and big and detailed, really nice detail um, on these images. The next thing to do is to basically inject these into a photogrammetry stack. Um, I like to use Polycam. Uh, it's a web tool that you can sign up for and get different types of uh, 3D processing done, both from your iPhone, LiDAR, and also this uh, you know, online photogrammetry. They accept up to 250 images, as you can see, so that's why I set you know, in the project settings that we could render up to 250 images, but here we're not gonna use all of them. I'm gonna take all of my files from the Opera House, get these uploaded in raw quality, so we get you know, maximum, maximum quality that we can use, um, and these were taken sequentially, so uh, that will basically help this run a little faster. So we're gonna upload those and process in no time. Once we're done processing, we'll select our model. And sometimes this will take a little bit of reorientation, um, which you can do either on the Polycam mobile app or on desktop here. And with a couple of nice passes, orbits at different heights, we have a nice reconstruction of the Google Earth data in 3D. You can download this in a number of different formats and use this in Blender or whichever program you like to use. Just be aware that Google's data has rights and that there are some requirements to give attribution to the photos, which you can find in the Google documentation on Studio.